Hello dear friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Chemistry Aspirant. Now in today's lecture we are going to learn about the structural representation of the organic compounds. So in the previous lecture we have discussed about the definition of the organic chemistry and the importance of the organic chemistry. Kindly watch that video also, the link is given in the card. So now in today's video you will know about the different way for the structural representation of the organic molecules by molecular formula, structural formula, then the Lewis dot structure or it is also called as an electron dot structure, then the condensed formula and lastly by bond line formula or the zigzag formula. These are the five different ways you are going to learn in this video. First that is the presentation by molecular formula. Molecular formula of molecule gives the idea about the different types and the number of atoms of an element present in a molecule. For example, we will take the glucose molecule. Now the molecular formula of glucose molecule is C6H12O6. So here in the glucose molecule, carbon, hydrogen and oxygen are the atoms of these three different elements. If we consider their number, there is a 6 carbon atom, 12 hydrogen atom and 6 oxygen atom in the glucose molecule. Hence the molecular formula of glucose is represented as an C6H12O6. Let us consider the second example of ethane molecule. Its molecular formula is C2H6. So in ethane, there is a 2 carbon atoms and 6 hydrogen atoms. Hence, its molecular formula is C2H6. Let us consider the third example of your benzene molecule. Its molecular formula is actually C6H6. So here, benzene contains the carbon and hydrogen. Hence, its molecular formula is C6H6. Let us consider the fourth example of your acetic acid. Its molecular formula is C2O2H4. Here, it contains the carbon, hydrogen and oxygen atoms. There is two carbon atom, four hydrogen atom and two oxygen atoms in the acetic acid molecule. Hence, its molecular formula is C2H4O2. Of just studying all these examples, we can conclude that molecular formula gives an idea about the number of different atoms of the element present in the molecule and their molecular formula is represented as an atomic symbol of that atom and their numbers are written as a subscript to that atomic symbol. Let us consider the second, the structural formula. Structural formula of molecule shows all the constituent atoms. Constituent atoms are actually the fundamental atoms with their atomic symbol and all the bonds which is represented by dash joining mutually to form the molecule. Let us consider the example of the methane molecule. Molecular formula is CH4. Now here the carbon atom is the central atom which is attached to the four hydrogen atom by the dash. Here the each dash represents the covalent bond between the carbon and the hydrogen atom. So while representing the structural formula for the methane molecule, we have written the atomic symbol also. This gives the structural formula for methane molecule. Again here you note that the structural formula gives the idea about the bonding or attachment or the joining of all atoms in molecule by exact bonding. Second example, glucose molecule, molecular formula is C6H12O6. Now here, the 6 carbon atom attach in the straight chain as I am showing here. On carbon number 1 and carbon attach with the hydrogen atom by single bond. Again on the carbon number 2, carbon attach with the oxygen atom by single bond. Now that oxygen atom again attach with the hydrogen atom by single bond on the right hand side. And on the left hand side, this attachment continue carbon attach with the hydrogen atom by single bond. Now up to the next 3 carbon atom, this attachment continue with the different orientations from left to right. Now on the last carbon atom, 2 hydrogen atom attach to carbon atom by single bond and 1 carbon oxygen single bond. Now oxygen hydrogen single bond, this attachment of all these atoms in a molecule gives the structural formula for glucose molecule. So far in this video, we have learned about the structural formula and the molecular formula. So what we must understood from this, molecular formula gives the idea about the different types of the atom and their number in the molecule, but it does not give any idea about their attachment or the bonding in the molecule. While the structural formula gives the idea about the exact attachment or the bonding of the atom mutually in a molecule by bonding in a molecule. So in short, structural formula is a detailed form of molecule. 
let us discuss about the next structural representation of organic molecule that is Lewis dot structure or it is also called as an electron dot structure. Electron dot structure or the Lewis dot structure of molecule represents the valence electron of all atom as a dot around their atomic symbol and the two dot between the two atom indicates the one covalent bond between them. Let us take the example of the methane molecule. Its molecular formula is CH4. Now, term configuration of the carbon atom. It is 1s2, 2s2 and 2p2. Now, here I have made a mistake while writing the electron configuration. Then I have made the correction. But I apologize for this mistake. So, total valence electron is actually 4 on the carbon atom. Now, the next atom is the hydrogen atom. Its electron configuration is 1s1. Hence, the valence electron is a 1. Now, here we will draw the atomic symbol of the carbon at the center and the four valence electron as a four dot that I have drawn by the yellow dot. We have to draw the atomic symbol of the hydrogen atom with their four valence electrons as a dot which I draw by the red dot. This gives the Lewis dot structure for the methane molecule. The two dot between the each carbon and the hydrogen atom represents the covalent bond between them. Now I have separate a video on the Lewis dot structure in the playlist chemical bonding. I request you to watch it again. I will give you the link in the card also. You will get more detail about the Lewis dot structure in that video. So from the previous structural formula, we use the dash as a covalent bond which consists of the two electron dot. So now in the structural formula presentation, bond is actually shown by the dash while in the electron dot structure, bond is shown by the dot. Now let us discuss about the next structural representation of organic molecule by condensed formula. Condensed formula is a simplification of the structural formula by hiding some or all the covalent bond between the atoms. If the same group of atoms are present then they are indicated by giving their number as a subscript to that same group resulting into the formation of condensed formula. Now let us discuss about the examples for the condensed formula. So here I have taken molecule, molecular formula and condensed formula. Let us take the example of ethane. Its molecular formula is C2S6. So it can be drawn CH3 single bond CH3 or you can directly draw it as a CH3 CH. Now here you can observe that in the structure first. I just shown the carbon carbon single bond and hide all carbon hydrogen bond. In the structure second we hide carbon carbon single bond as well as all the carbon hydrogen bond. So these two structure formula for in molecule. Next example is a butane. Its molecular formula is C4H10. So its structure can be drawn CH3 single bond CH2 single bond CH2 single bond CH3 or simply CH3 CH2 CH2 CH3. Again you can observe that the methylene group that is the CH2 group are two times. So in the next condensed formula we can write it as an CH3 CH2 in bracket two times CH3. So here you can observe that the same methylene groups are written in a bracket with a subscript number 2. Three structures can be represented as a condensed formula for the butane. So here we can observe that condensed formula is the simplification of the structural formula by hiding all the covalent bond between the atoms in the molecule. Now for your reference I have given the few other examples. So take a screenshot of this one and study about this. Now let us take the last structural representation of the organic molecule which is called as a no. bond line formula or the zigzag formula. Bond line formula or the zigzag formula is again the simplification for the representation of organic molecule. Take the example and we will discuss about the each point for representing this formula. So now here we will take the example of the butane. So its structural formula can be drawn CH3, CH2, CH3. For the each carbon atom I have given the numbering. 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now here whatever point number first says atomic symbol of carbon and hydrogens are not written. Point number 2 the line representing the carbon carbon bond are drawn in the zigzag manner which I have drawn and even I have given the numbering. Now the next point the terminal end of the zigzag line represents the methyl group. So in this structure you can observe that in the carbon number 1 in carbon number 4 there is a the methyl group which is present at the end of this chain. Hence they are called as an terminal ends. We do not have to draw any methylene group in the bond line formula. Just remember about this one. Again the next point the intersection of this line represents the carbon atom bonded to the appropriate number of hydrogen atoms which satisfied the valence of the carbon atom. Now here in this bond line formula you have to observe that 
that the carbon number 2 and the carbon number 3 represents the intersection point or intersection line. Now we believe that in that intersection line the two hydrogen atoms are present. Here also we do not have to draw any hydrogen atom at that intersection point. So at a carbon number 2 and carbon number 3 the methylene groups are present while the carbon number 1 and the carbon number 4 represents the methyl group at the end and these four use the bond line formula for the butane another example of hexene so here in the hexene there is a six carbon atom and i have drawn the structure for the hexene so in between the carbon number one and carbon number two there is a double bond so we have to show again the two lines between the carbon number one and carbon number two to represent the bond line formula for hexene now the next point if the heteroatoms or the hydrogen atom bonded to heteroatoms if present in the molecule they are written clearly while drawing bond line formula for the molecule let us consider the example regarding this one the example of diethyl ether so its structural formula can be represented as an ch3 ch2 o ch2 ch3 so here you can observe that if I give the numbering to the carbon atom, carbon number 1, carbon number 2, this is carbon number 3 and this is carbon number 4. So in between the carbon number 2 and carbon number 3, there is oxygen atom which is the ethereal oxygen atom. So if we have to draw the bond line formula for the ether, we will draw in such manner. We will draw the first line, okay. This will represent carbon number 1, carbon number 2. To this carbon number 2 there is a oxygen atom which i have to clearly mention here again carbon number three and this will be your carbon number four so this is the bond line formula for your diethyl ether with the heteroatom oxygen so here we have clearly written the heteroatom oxygen between the carbon number two and carbon number three now let us take the another example acetone okay so if we draw the structure for the acetone it will be ch3 c double bond o ch3 now here again you can observe that in the acetone the three carbon atoms are present one two three if we draw the bond line formula for the acetone so this will be the carbon number one this will be the carbon number two and this will be the carbon number three then on the carbon number two you can observe that there is a double bond with the oxygen atom so here i will draw this double bond with the hetero atom as an oxygen atom so this is the bond line formula for the acetone now here again i have given Two examples one for heptine and another for benzene now you can observe how i have drawn the bond line formula for heptine and the benzene so this is all about the structural representation of organic molecule by molecular formula structural formula lewis dot structure and condensed formula and bond line formula thank you so much for watching this video see you in my next